Did you know that here in the United Kingdom, Christianity has been deemed a minority religion, with less than half of the population identifying as Christian and an even smaller group practicing their faith on a regular basis? This royal throne of kings, this sceptered isle for Christian service and true chivalry, is now a melting pot of all faiths and none. This was reinforced with the recent appointment of King Charles III, who stated that, as sovereign, he had a duty to protect the diversity of our country, including the protecting of space for faith itself and its practice through the religions, cultures, traditions and beliefs to which our hearts and minds direct us as individuals. It is into this multi-faith environment that the British Union Conference launched their Reflecting Hope programme, spurred on by the Christ for Europe initiative of Adventist World Radio. Let's give a quick roundup of the Reflecting Hope experiences throughout the Union. It is, it is, it is a great privilege to work in London in this community. For the first time, you want to give your life to Jesus. You want to be baptized. I need because of the gospel I need because of the church I need. Today in Limerick City distributing books on health and hope and also some invitations for the health seminar happening here in Limerick during the week. Join me now to find out a little bit about this experience. In addition to this, as part of the Reflecting Hope program, several resources were created to support the experiences. These included Hope, the Gift of Heaven, a booklet inspired by a presentation that Louis Torres gave to the BUC leadership team in January 2023. Also a special edition of our Focus magazine and the creation of a dedicated website that has an outward and inward facing appeal. At the beginning of Reflecting Hope, one of the first things that we did was we opened the Word of God. The team looked at the book of Nehemiah. And there is some beautiful passages in the book of Nehemiah. One of them is found in the first chapter where Nehemiah prays after he's had a few days of mourning and fasting. And he says, O Lord God of heaven, the great and awesome God, who keeps his covenant of love with those who love him and obey his commands. Let your ear be attentive and your eyes open to hear the prayer your servant is praying before you day and night. And as we actually planned for Reflecting Hope, we did a lot of praying, we did some fasting, and we were talking to God day and night as well as reading the word. And one of the things that is really moved me about the Reflecting Hope program is how I have seen God work. When we first started the program, there was some resistance. It was a very new program. People were a little bit hesitant to become involved. But by the end of the program, at least this phase, phase one, there has been a shift. One pastor in the North England Conference actually told me, my church has been revived. We have seen the baptisms which continue. The baptisms so far are about 125 with reports still coming in from the Reflecting Hope programs. And I praise God for that. Looking to the future, we see next year, 2024, as a year of, of promise. Here when all of our pastors will become involved in Reflecting Hope, become involved in evangelism, and we hope that they will then inspire their members to become evangelism and have total member involvement. Looking to the future as well, 
I'd like to see this partnership between the British Union Conference and AWR Adventist World Radio continue. It's been a very interesting um, partnership. It's been a very fulfilling partnership. We have worked with various members of the AWR team who have been amazing. They have been supportive, they have guided us, they have prayed for us, and we do desperately need those prayers. We even really appreciate the fact that Dwayne McKee himself came to England at the start of Reflecting Hope to be with us, and we really want to thank you for that. Greetings friends, I'm Dr. Dwayne McKee, President of Advent of Food Radio. Here we are in the BUC, and Kathy and I, my, my sweet wife, we, we actually, just in a few days, we're going to be married 55 years. Can you imagine that? And we're expecting for Jesus to come soon so we can go home together, right Kathy? That's right. Something is thrilling happening right here in the BUC, the British Union Conference and the General Conference. All around the world, we're doing reflecting hope, reflecting hope. Jesus, that's our hope. He is our hope. Christ for Europe is going on. By the way, just in a few days, we're going to be over in the Ukraine. I am sick and tired of this old ball of mud. I want Jesus to come. This stuff has to stop. And that's why we do what we do. One of our friends, actually, Louis Torres, he works yes. with Admin's World Radio. He was just over here in Iceland, here in, in this union, and he preached a series of meetings in Iceland. 16 were baptized. Can you imagine that, Kathy? You have told me. The only time evangelism doesn't work is when we don't do it. When we don't do it. It, it never works then. Uh, Dr. Brooks, what a thrill it is to be here with you. Thank you so much. I know you want the Lord to come too. That's why we do what we do through Adventist Wood Radio. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being a part of Reflecting Hope. And lastly, we want to thank God. You know, without Him, we can do nothing. Without Him, we would have failed. But with the help of God, we have seen the program start in England and we hope that it has lit a flame that will not go out. On behalf of the leadership of the British Union Conference, I would like to offer my sincere thanks for your support, through your service, through your prayers and through your financial contributions.